award-winning innovator and thought leader who is extremely passionate about Zimbabwe and her journey. Conversations with Sir Nige is a new show where Sir Nige meets with Zimbabweans from different walks of life and has a conversation with them. You can follow at Sir Nige on Twitter. Today's show, Sir Nige meets with Norman Doy, the co-founder of Pearls, Hills and Dreams. You can follow at Zim Black Rose and at Hills and Dreams on Twitter. Also part of the conversation is Rumbi Zaimu Zengerere, the project coordinator for Zimbabwe Youth Development Trust. Whenever I think of uh, women who want to make this place better, mm-hmm. I think of Rumbi. Mm. Thank you. Uh, no, seriously, no, seriously, I'm not just, I'm not just saying that. I'm, 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 I often think, I wonder what Rumbi would think of this particular situation. Mm. Yeah. Because you, I know you've got... Yeah, you know, the thing with me is, I always used to complain about everything. everything yeah. Yeah, yeah, I still remember when I finished school, when I finished my A-levels, yeah. the first thing in my mind was, I want to leave. I want to go somewhere. Oh, really? I can't, yeah. I didn't want to stay here because I just felt that, you know, what, like the situation. Yeah. I was waiting for someone to come and change things. Okay. And then, like, when I started school and then, you know, like, you meet other young people yes. and you see what they're doing and you're like, okay. Um, so there's this saying that, um, um, like, young people were the ones who are supposed to, to make the, the change. Yeah. Yes. Like, yeah. you're supposed to be the change that you want to see yeah. in your country. Yeah. That's the initiative exactly. right there. Yeah. Exactly. That's the we can do it. We'll go yeah. and we'll get it for you. Yeah. We might not have the funds, we might yeah. not have exactly. but we will bring the idea back to government to yeah. make it better for other people, which exactly. I think is really awesome. But I agree with exactly what we'll be saying. You need to work. You need to when you put in the time the results will come. Exactly. The results will always come. I tell you what, talking about the whole purpose thing. I've been talking a lot about it, um, especially when we went to uh Bly and in, in Gweru the last couple of days. Now, I've been saying this all week actually. Find your purpose and run with it. Yeah. But the question though, Nigel, that people always ask us yeah. is how do I find my purpose? Because you're asking a very big question and you're asking a person to look into themselves, look yeah. outside of themselves. Yeah. It's a process. It's, it's, it's like one of those do I actually want to put that much time and effort into finding? Some people stumble upon it. Bless them. I love those people. I, say, yeah. I just discovered I was really good at singing. Yeah. And this is what I wanted to do for the rest of my life. Mm-hmm. But with the rest of us, it has to be almost a process of elimination. There's stuff that you're good at that you were taught. Yeah. Then there's stuff that you're good at that comes naturally. Exactly. So for example, people that love writing. Yeah. yeah. You can get paid to write. Yeah. Yeah. Do you understand? Do you know that? And we say, okay, you, you love writing. Now, how is that your purpose? What Then people say, okay, what can I write about? You have Oprah with a magazine. Yeah. You have people writing stories for CNN. So it's almost the, the question I've always met, even when we had a couple of our first events and we spoke about purpose. Yeah. A lot of the ladies in the room, and these are like educated, mm-hmm. well-to-do, mm-hmm. beautiful young women. How do I do that? Well, here's the thing. Well, to answer you, to try and help answer your question, my parents um, decided that they were, you know their son would be an accountant, so I was an, I'm, an, I'm an accountant. Yeah. <laughs> I did it for many years. Um, I thought that's what I wanted to do. That's what I wanted to become when I you know, when I when I grew up. I realized later on in my 30s that actually I'm good at it, but it's not what I what, want what, to what I want to do. Um, I've looked at and to answer your question about purpose. I've looked at the, the landscape, the Zimbabwean landscape. So it's about understanding your environment, first of all. Saying, okay, so I live in Zimbabwe, I live in South Africa, I live in the UK, I live, you know, etc., etc. Yeah. There's a gap in the market. Yeah. You know, so you guys looked and said, well, okay, so transportation. Mm-hmm. You know, you've looked and said, okay, pearls, heels, and dreams. Yeah. Okay. And along the way, you figure out how do I, how can I do this? How can this be my nine to five? Mm-hmm. Right. Sometimes it's not obvious. It's not. It doesn't take you know something that doesn't take uh, two minutes to to come up with. Yeah. It takes a little while. So stay in your day job, work on this. You know, uh, long nights. Uh, you're working over the weekend. Mm-hmm. You know, you you actually be, you know hibernate. Yes. You know, everyone else is going out to Durban and so forth, and you're not. Mm-hmm. You know, because you're working on your on, <laughs> on your thing, yeah. on your passion. Um, but to me, 
now that I've found my purpose, yes, mm. I feel like wow, I wasted all those years. Exactly. Yes. I could be somewhere right now. Like, how, what did someone you know? tell me? You've been watching an Afuna production. 